Hi, I'm Nick. Welcome to my shop. Here we are, another day at work. And we got another 70 Cuda 3D3 4 speed that's coming in. He's a local client of mine, also a good friend of mine. His name is Ari. Gave me a call. Yes, they told me, Nick, my car doesn't want to start. For what reason, we don't know. So Nick Zodiac Towing brought it in, and we're going to take it from there. Back up, Nick, no problem. We're gonna push it into the stall. There's no rush for this. You know, I've got another 70 Cuda, got a 70 Roadrunner, and we, now we've got another 70 Cuda, just came in. And we got all the bright colors of Mopar here under one roof. Nick, always a pleasure to see you with a nice Mopar on your tow truck. Apparently, my customer said, he looked at it quick, quick, and they said there's probably no fuel going to the carburetor. I'm sure there's fuel in the tank. Don't forget, you guys, this is an old, uh, it's a 1970 Cuda. He's restored many, many years ago. And for what reason? That has no fuel. And if it is not the problem, we don't know. But it came here so we can find out what the problem is so we can get it running. Nick, I'm gonna go outside and steer it, okay? I'm ready. Okay, I'm gonna roll it in. Here I go. There we go. Tomorrow's another day, another car. This one also do general maintenance. And you know, he drives it once in a while on the weekends. Sometimes he parks it for a couple of weeks and you never know, sometimes he doesn't want to start. It's a basic pure stock 3D3, 1970 Cuda with a four speed pistol grip. So we're gonna be working on this tomorrow. Probably maybe uh, it's got no fuel or something or something. I'm not so sure, let's take a look. Since we're here now, I'm curious to take a look and see what's going on. There we go. Let's see now. Do we have fuel? Oh yeah, he's got fuel. Maybe it's flooded. Maybe he's got no spark. Let's find out. So something that's very commonly done or checked with a Chrysler product when it has a ballast resistor, what we do is you put the key on and you want to make sure we got, you know, we maybe probably have no spark, that's why it doesn't start. So the first thing we do is put the key on, when it get to the ballast resistor, and we should have power on both sides with the key on. So let's check it out. Okay, here we go, let's take a look. Okay, so the resistor is good. So maybe it's flooded. Let's wide open. Let's put the choke wide open. I'll crank it over and see if it starts. If it doesn't start, it probably have no spark. He's got an electronic ignition. I do not know if it's a Chrysler product or not. I don't see a module anywhere. But uh, let's see. I'm gonna get my light to test to see if we got a spark, and then we'll take it from there. Okay, where's my little magic light? 
That's an easy way out. You know, you put down one end of the spark plug, the other one the wire, and as you crank it over, and it shoots on every second stroke, there's a spark on the uh, spark plug from the ignition. So that should light up every uh, second or so as I crank it. So let's plug it in and we'll see what happens. I'm gonna plug this in, and you guys tell me if there's a spark or not. And here we go. Now that looks easy. There we go. And you plug this into the spark plug. So look, I left it there. If you can see a spark, I'm gonna go crank it over. Right down there, you see a spark? Then we got ignition. I'm gonna let you guys be the judge on that. Here we go. Affirmative. So it's probably flooded. So we got a spark, we got fuel. Is it flooded? I don't know. I'm gonna crank it a bit more and see what happens. Maybe there's more fuel. Don't forget, this car's not driven daily. Here we go. Maybe it needs more fuel. So, from what I see, Ari, my customer, told me, Nick, for what reason it doesn't start, we don't know. But you know what? He said the magic word. Make a basic tune-up, because he hasn't replaced, he has not replaced the plugs for a long time. Maybe make an oil change, and of course, uh, see if the wires need replaced or any of that. So we had fuel, there was not a problem with the fuel. We've got a spark, the ignition is working. So we're just gonna do a little tune-up, and of course I wanna make sure in a cold start in the morning that the choke closes well and opens up enough so it doesn't flood it in or maybe it doesn't close. So there you have it, you guys. This is just a simple basic tune-up that it needs. Don't forget, those are the days that they, it's not fuel injection. Those, these are the days of the old tune-up once in a while every year or so. Okay, there you have it. And thanks for watching us here on Nick's Garage. And you guys, if you look down below the video, we have a whole bunch of merchandise that you guys can buy. So whatever you like, buy it, love it, wear it, and enjoy it. And help spread the word of Mix Garage. And if you have some time, check out our Patreon page. We have extra content and you guys can watch it and take it from there. And we'll see you next time.